All right, what's up, YouTube? This is Movie Prodigy 25 back with a hit my first movie review. I'm really excited to do this. Um, back to uh, the Rambo Wrath for Life. I do not like him whatsoever, um, and I want him to watch these videos so he can see what a real movie review is like. Not just dissing on people, but giving them the positive light, too. Alright, so here we go. Alright. My first movie review is going to be on one of the se the series he was... Not the series, but the, the movies he was down and on the most. And I'm choosing to review Wrong Turn 4, Bloody Beginnings. For my first review. Um, I chose this because I'm a huge fan of the Wrong Turn series. I have been since I was six years old when I seen the first one. And I fell in love with it immediately. Um, it's something that's never really been done before in movies before. I mean, because you, you guys don't know what the storyline behind this series is. It's their cannibalistic freaks that live in West Virginia, and all they do is you know, eat people because they're cannibals, but m movies like this have not been put out there a lot. I mean, the first one was in theaters. I'm not too sure on the second and third, but I do know for sure that Wrong Turn 4 and Wrong Turn 5 were definitely not in theaters. I haven't seen five, but I know for sure that they were because it was so bloody and so gory. Um, anyway, Wrong Turn 4, directed by Declan O'Brien, the one who got, you know, got everything pushed down on him by Rambo Wrath for Life guy, dude. Um, with every movie, there's going to be pros and cons. But I'm here to exaggerate. I'm here to tell you the pros more than the cons. Because if someone hears just cons, they're not going to watch the movie. That's just straight up fact. Um, what's good about Wrong Turn 4 is you got the director coming back from 3 to do 4 and 5. Directors don't usually direct 3 movies in a series that's very rare to see very rare that's like having the original screencast come back together for four movies you know that's just it's really good to see because you know you got people working together that know each other you got a director that knows what he's doing um wrong turn four takes place in the winter um but these group of people that go up to this guy's cabin and they clearly take a wrong turn and end up in a mental hospital well they don't know it's a mental hospital until later on in the movie but it's it, it's really crazy it's a really good movie though um I have been a fan like I said of the wrong turn movie since the beginning actually as I'm making this video I'm watching wrong turn 2 I have been I've been watching the wrong turn series since I don't know this this past Monday, um, the one of the, I've got two, just two negative things to say about the series. Um, just you know the recent movies. Three, no, 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 my bad. Four. I don't mean to spoil or anything, but four. Every single cast member dies. I'm not too fond of that because there there usually needs to be one or two cast members that survive but you know you know it's the director and the writers they know what they're doing they know they've been making movies for years so they know um from watching previews I mean, reviews from wrong turn five they ruined the ending for me and told me that everyone in the series dies so but that's how they keep movies going you know they gotta make they make movies after movies, which is fine with me because I'm an avid movie person. 
that's one thing I'm just, you know, going to down on. The second one is in Wrong Turn 4. The kills are a little hard to believe. Like, there's a scene in this movie where this guy's being cut up on a table for, like, a solid seven minutes. And there's no way you can take off flesh off of someone and then go through that amount of pain and not die. I think three minutes into it, your body would go into shock and you'd just die. But it goes on for a solid, like I said, seven minutes. But that's all really negative I have to say about it. I mean, I've watched it a handful of times and there's still some scenes where I gotta like shy away because it's, you know, not something, like I said before, it's not something seen a lot. And Declan O'Brien does a really good job of that. I mean, he did it in three, four, and I'm pretty sure he'll do it in five because that's just who he is. He he knows how to direct these movies. I think he's really good at what he does. I mean, Sharktopus, I mean, it wasn't exactly gory, but, you know, still, he knew how to have some... He knew how to have good kills in there. He knew what to do. Him and the writers. Really good writers. This movie... I don't know who it's written by, but, you know, whatever, it's written by Declan O'Brien, actually. So, I mean, he directed it, wrote it, and that looks like it all it is, but, I mean, some people would say you have to have a sick mind to write something like this, but, hey, I mean, pays the bills, right? Um... It's great seeing, you know, Three Finger back and new cast members, you know, new cast uh, people coming to start their film career. That's totally cool. Um, I don't think there's any actors in this one I know, but I do know in Wrong Turn 5, it's got the guy who played Pinhead, which his name is... I, I can't remember his name right now off the top of my head. I'm sorry. Um, but if you're going to watch Wrong Turn 4, make sure you watch it with a friend or, you know, make sure there's no little kids around because they won't sleep for, like, a solid week. I remember when I seen the first Wrong Turn, and I, I didn't sleep for, like, a solid two months, actually, because it just freaked me out. Um, My little brother and I actually watched this the day that I bought it, and he had to sleep in my room. And I don't like to share my bed. I have a king-size bed, and it's all mine. Um, some of the kills in this movie were actually really interesting. Um, when he, when this guy's walking through the hallways with a flashlight, and he thinks he sees his friend, he turns around, and I don't know who the killer is, but he takes like a sharp metal object and he puts it up through his head and all the way through the top and I find it really crazy the way that you know he comes up with kills I just I, I like it um a lot of gore a, re a lot of gore really uh clearly it's unrated another one of the kills I had a hard time believing was when they're out in the snow and I can't remember who the killer was in this one either, but he takes a snowmobile and he, he rides it on a girl. And she screams for like a solid two minutes. And there's no way that you can have that much blood flowing out. And flowing out of the back and having this girl almost in half and she's screaming two minutes. You know, it's just... The, the kills aren't... Some of the kills weren't that good. I was just hoping they'd be a little bit better. But overall... Wrong turn four, bloody beginnings. Seven out of ten stars, you know? I mean, it's really hard to keep up with the original. Because nothing's as good as the original. It's hard to do that. I've seen... I'm an avid horror movie person myself. And I've seen, like, two movies that have topped the original. And that's it. But, you know. Remakes. I'm not a fan of remakes, but I will do reviews on remakes but um i think that's all that i have for you today uh, i'll be back 
maybe tomorrow with another one. I don't know. Like I said, I'll probably do one, one or two a week. Um, I did two today. My intro video and then this one. Maybe I'll do one tomorrow. Maybe I'll do one daily. I don't know. Cause, you know, I love doing this. But anyway, uh, this video I'd like to dedicate to my buddy Nick, a.k.a. One Wheel. I'd like to ded also dedicate it to my friend Jake Harris. You know, these are... And my friend Joey. They all said this is something I should do. They know that I'm a movie guy, and this is what I do, and I love to do it. So, thank you guys. I love you all. And, you know, YouTube, subscribe to me, please. Um, if you want me to do commentary on a, video, on a movie, you know, if I've seen it, I'll, com I'll do a commentary, a review on it. If I have it, I'll watch it, then I'll do a review on it. Um, so, subscribe, leave a comment of a movie you want me to review. And I'll check it out and I'll post another video. Love you guys. Bye.